Hey YouTube, Kika Black here, and I am back today with uh, another review of the um, Gogo Sensei Bokenja um, Excellular, um, which is the changer in the series. Um, uh, here's the box here. The Excellular in the box would go right here. You have broken red there. Um, you have uh, these little things that come out of here that I'll show you later. Um, on the top side, you have the five the five main bone catches, red, black, blue, yellow, and pink. Um, this is a green version, so I think it is. That's why I think it's Korean writing. But it comes with lights and sounds. Caught with broken red doing different things here. Same thing on the other side with some other stuff. Uh, bottom side, you just got that. Um... And on the back side, you just got how to flip it open, what modes to put it in when you're doing certain things, and some codes there. So, get this out of the way. We have the cellular here. Um, uh, it, it looks very nice. Uh, it's a phone changer. Um, very different from other phones. Uh, it does flip up like that. Um, but just in this mode, it looks uh, alright already. Um, you have the spin dial thing, which triggers the uh, activate sound. Um, you have a nice glossy red paint with the glossy gold here. Uh, it's mostly silver. You have the camera here, which is where the sound is, and the light here. On here, it has it says change vehicle and combine with the codes on it. So, um... We'll turn it down and hear the sounds. Speakers back here. Oh, there is an LED here. So, there's a little red flash with the sounds. One more time so you can hear the sound properly. Okay, so when it's in this mode, uh, to do the transformation, what you have to do, you hold it here and you flick this up. Like that, so you've got a transform button, uh, analyze button, call button. Oops. And you got all your numbers with the keypad. You got the gut type button. You got the uh, go button, and yeah, there's just standard things. So uh, to do the transformation, you press this. You get some LED and some sound, and you just spin the bottom part. There. So, let's do it again, let me just get a stand for my camera. And I won't stand up properly. Come on. I might have to use the box. There we go. So, um, again, I'll show you the transformation. So, you press this button. Then you spin the bottom thing like that. You got some LEDs, so it's basically just shifting up and like driving off. Um, these buttons work um, but in random order, so you press them like so. Um, this is the analyze mode, so let me turn off my light. Okay, so and you press this button and. And the light does not want to come on. For some reason, I might need new batteries, but it doesn't matter. Um, this button here is the call noise. So it does that. These buttons cycle through random sounds. Um, and this one, uh, this is the uh, uh, shift up button. So you press it. Hush in, so like launch and stuff. So you press one. Dump, formula, gyro, dozer, marine like submarine, drill, shovel, mixer, crane, and jet. And then you spin that and that activates the sound. Um, so to the gut ties now, um, there is a lot of pliability with this. Um, you have the stand, you have the broken trailer, which is, um, 
where they all line up and they like a train. There's a uh, die broken. There's di there's the drill attachment, shovel attachment, attachment, mixer attachment, crane attachment, and jet attachment. Plus, you can do double attachment attachments like mixer and crane, and and drill and shovel and stuff like that. You can also do triple attachments, mixer, crane, jet. Um, and then you can do four attachments, which is super die broken, and then you do uh four. Uh, no, you do four of them for Super Die Broken, five of them for Ultimate Die Broken, and you do six, seven, eight, nine, zero for uh, Die uh, Die Tangent. So let's do this. So. so that says trailer formation. So that's broken formation. So that just says drill power on, so then it's like an attachment. Shovel. Again, just the attachment. That's the mixer. Crane. Oopsies, I think I turned it off. That's the jet power on. So I'll show you two and then three. So that's your shovel power on and then. Mixer, crane, and jet. And then you got your super formation, so you got And then you got your ultimate formation. Actually you got die tankin. So it's just broken formation two. Now you got ultimate die broken. Okay, so now um, I'll get the attachments out for well, not the attachments, the little uh, chips for the light, the analyze mode. Okay, so it comes in this black little case, and it comes with six of them. They all look like this, and what you do is do the analyze mode with the light, which I need new batteries. And what you do is you take a chip, you take a chip, you shine the light on it, and what it will do is it will release sort of, it will show you sort of like um only things that can be shown on ultraviolet rays like the purple lights, and it will either show a, a hand scissors or paper like rock paper scissors, um and then it will be, be like a little game so you get three each and then. One rock, one paper, one scissors, and then you just uh you put one out randomly, and you do it down on it, and whoever wins uh gets the token, and the winner for six tokens by the end uh is the winner. So um that's that little gimmick there. So to sum this all up, um so much playability in this thing. Um it was I got it for a great pickup, even if it's a Korean version, it still has all the features of the Japanese version. Um, I only got it for twenty two dollars, so it was really cheap, and it was really worth it too. So, um, if you're looking to pick this uh something up, uh, I'll recommend this. So, um, that's it for this time, guys. Thanks for watching the review, and I'll see you next time. Bye.